All right, so today we want to talk about the joystick for the Meditoyo CMM. All right, so this is a sheet that's on your module for you to review. You got it printed out and laying right beside that physical joystick. So let me go over a couple of features. So as you see up at the top, RZ rotary, which we don't have, Z up and down, X, Y, X, Y, just so you can familiarize yourself with the controls. Um, speed control, we talked about that a little bit. So you can sh speed it up, slow it down, emergency stop in case you're getting ready to crash it and you don't want to damage the probe or whatever. You can hit emergency stop. This is the status window. This, if you can see on the sheet, it's got an E, you typically ease our alarm codes. Um, but what pretty much what we're going to use it for is when you see numbers, that means it's in rapid. If you press this, this, or this, all three of those puts it into measure mode. You have a rapid mode and a measure mode. The measure mode typically says L. If you see L, you know you're in measure mode. Take it out. Okay, let's go down here. So these function keys, these not function, left, back, and right, used to operate the joystick while the operator stands at the left, right, front, or back. This machine is not huge, but if you have a huge one, you can walk around with this joystick control. And if you're standing to the side, you can press one of these buttons and now X may be Y and Y may be X. This machine's not big enough to us to need that, but it has that option. X, Y axis function keys. I've never used them. I'm not really sure what they use for. I'm sure they have a use somewhere. Down here, the lock, the X, Y or Z axis. So you can lock one of your axes. There, there are a few times you may need that in industry. Um, let's just say that um, you're moving, the times I've used it, I come around and like if I want to take a hit, I would lock my Y. So if you lock your Y, the X will work, the Y won't. So in case you're trying to move somewhere in a tight quarters and you're afraid that you may end up without the Y lock, cut it back off, you may actually accidentally be pulling it at an angle. You can lock it so even if you're pulling it at an angle, only the X is moving. So there's a few times you may need to lock it. Um, this button forcibly stops the travel in the sense an R stop. Um, never used it. If you need to, you just hit emergency stop. M for measure. You can, again, you've got them on top or right here. Any one of these three options puts it in measure mode. Um, these find sets the joystick mode to find feed generally we're changing the program start is the button that initializes it in the next video there will be a startup procedure and i'll show you what that button's for see uh cancel cancels the measure point and the travel point then up here you have ts this is the touch probe ts enables the touch sensor i don't know why they didn't call it up TP, but TS, touch sensor. So if we press this and I do this, it disables it. Put it back on, it enables it. Of course, we got an alarm because I don't have the software set up in it. But anyway, the TS, the only times you would need that is if you were changing the probe, you would cut it off so that when you're trying to touch it, and switch out to another probe, it wouldn't do an alarm false hit like this. RT cuts on the rotary table, which we don't have. Go to, we'll be using this when we're writing, when we're actually writing a program. 
go to basically wherever you're at in this space go to stores that point into the software and it creates a go-to point so if i was going from here to here and i didn't put a go-to i drive the probe through the park but if i went here here i don't need to know that measurement i can hit go to and it'll store that point so that's the basis of our um, joystick controller those are all the functions the big ones we're going to be using are the joystick go to start when we start it up and that's just about it